Protest in Davidsonville, just outside Rudderport, has led to the closure of a number of roads in the area. The protesters are complaining about billing errors for basic services, such as water and electricity, sometimes being billed double for one month. The police say angry protesters are pelting vehicles with stones in the area. We had a billing crisis where the system generated incorrect pre-termination notices. Um, some of the residents of Davidsonville received those and the concern was that they would have their water and electricity switched off. There is a no disconnection policy on Davidsonville, which means they would not be terminated. That information has been sent to most of the residents and the community leaders to inform them that there will be no disconnection as far as, as their water and electricity is concerned. That was the issue that was brought to my attention. That was the only issue I was made aware of. Please, because this is going on for too long. It's, it's now enough. It's for too long. So 24 hours is the only option. If you can't do it in 24 hours, this will become more and more trouble. Because people will die here at the end of the day. Yes. Me, I've applied for RDP house in 97. 97, when I went there, they say, I don't know you. Whereby we've got land here, we've got all over. The, we, we, we are not scared and we are not racist here to go and stay with other people. Well, let's get the latest details now from on the ground. For that, we are joined by ANN7 reporter Nobesu Tu Hejane, joins us live from Davidsonville. Uh, for more, good afternoon to you. Just give us the latest details. What's currently happening on the ground? Earlier reports suggested that roads were closed. Are those roads still closed? Good afternoon to you, Abigail, and the viewers at home. Um, as we can see right now, uh, the latest report is that um, the roads are clear. The protesters have moved back to their houses. And um, earlier, um, the ward councillor, Ms. Uh, Renee, um, came to address the protesters and also promised that um, she will get back to them. And obviously, they have given her um, seven, I mean, 24 hours for, the, for her to come back and give a report back on some of the demands that have that have um, issued to her and also um, just a report um, nine cars were damaged eight people were arrested and they will be charged with uh, public violence and only two people were injured um, that was the latest uh, information that we got from Mr. K. Makuben but at the moment the situation is calm and uh, people have moved but the streets of Davidsonville are still in flames. Novesutu, talk to us a little bit about your engagements uh, with the residents there. Looking at the, some of our uh, footage, residents uh, seem to have given the municipality and the government an ultimatum uh, of 24 hours, even threatening that uh, people could die in the area if this is not uh, met with. Uh, just give us the latest details on what's been said by the residents. Upon our engagement with some of the residents, um, they made it clear that um, they are frustrated and they are tired of the empty promises made by the government. So if nothing is done, they will result in other issues. But they did not um, elaborate on what are they going to do specifically. But um, they, there's going to be a meeting tomorrow at 7 um, with the residents where they will get a report. As I've mentioned before, that um, they told the councillor that they they want um, information or report back um, within the next 24 hours. So she has to come back with some information and at the meeting that will be held tomorrow at 7 at the community hall. Just talk to us about what uh, the municipality or, uh, or, or the leaders uh, in the area have said with regards to these issues that the residents brought to the fore. I mean, it's basic uh, service issues such as issues with water, issues with electricity, housing issues. Uh, why have there been problems for so long uh, in this specific area? Well, the residents claim that each and every time there are elections, promises are made, but no one does follow through. But they've said that um, they've, they've come forward to the councillors, the where they reported that refuse is not collected, the issue of water, electricity. So their main issues are water and um, electricity, some of the basic needs. So they say that um, they will continue with the protest tomorrow, so more will be done. Um, I'm assuming that um, the roads will be closed again if they do not get a report back from the ward councillor.